In this video, I'm going to show you how to get your text animations to stand out on your client projects with this one plugin. I'm Raphael and welcome to the channel where our goal is to always fix it in camera and then finesse it in post. And I've spent years and years learning motion graphics to do complex animations. And with the rise of templates and plugins, it has become easier to get to a great starting point for complex text animations without all the learning. But the one thing that I've always found with the templates is that they aren't as customizable as I would like them to be. That's where MoType 2 comes in. It is a unique title generator that renders text with trails and particles in 3D space for stunning results, and it's super fast. It allows you to apply animations in 3D and effects to lines, words, or even individual characters. And this plugin works really well in Premiere Pro, After Effects, Final Cut Pro, and even Motion. And because of that feature, that makes this plugin so much more versatile than I initially thought. So let's jump into the computer so I can show you all about it. So we're gonna start with Final Cut Pro first, and then we're gonna go to Premiere and After Effects, because I wanna show you how this plugin can translate between the apps. But first, I want to show you how jam-packed MoType 2 is. It comes with a ton of presets you can build from scratch. And all these presets allow you to do so many different things. So the first thing is just how much thought and time went into creating this. And to be able to create these kind of trails in any other motion graphics plugin would take time to set up. And this just comes out of the box and it's super fast to render. But it's a great way to get inspiration and where you want to go. So there's something that will fit your style. So these are all presets. And I've done my fair share of buying templates and presets. And any one of these would cost 10 to $20 just for one of these. So the fact that this comes with so many already built in, already a, a big mark for this plugin. And there's plenty of variety within a certain style that you can have multiple titles in your project and they won't ever feel the same. So we're just gonna kind of skim through. I just wanna show you that these kind of trails, it kind of boggles my mind because I've done these kind of animations in the past for client projects, but having to build them myself just was frustrating and it took so much time. So the fact that these are already done, like I know how much work went into building these kind of things. And the fact that you can just go in and change the type, these are all dynamic, is fantastic. So you can have transitions. Let's go through a few more. So they kind of thought of all the little things that you may want to do with this. And these aren't simple animations. These are complex animations in 3D space with particles, with trails, with light beams. And it's just a crazy amount of animations you have built right in. Those are the presets that come as, as standard. So right in their text editor, you can go in and change the color. And this editor is one of the coolest things about this plugin. Whatever you do in this layout is the layout that you're gonna see in your animation. So you don't have to fiddle around anywhere else. It just allows you to do it right here. So you press okay and you're done. No extra rendering and you just play it back. But say you don't like the camera angle and you want the camera to look a little bit different. You can go in and actually change the rotation of how the layout is going to be. So if you want it to come in more towards you, you can make the trail length shorter or longer. So say you wanted it to start where it flies in, you can add a keyframe and then that trail could disappear. And very quickly you can start adding your own animations to suit your project that you're working on. And the fact that all these parameters are animatable is a great testament to who created this and knowing that a lot of artists would want to have this kind of control. Or you can just put on the preset and just be done with it. But having this on-screen menu also really helps. If you find that something is taking a little bit too long, you can turn off the trails so it speeds up the camera move and just helps you create a little bit faster or vice versa. You can add in particles and backgrounds and some simple text alignments you can do right in the pop-up menu. So very quickly, you can add really nice animations to all your videos. And once you have your text animation set up, you can actually save and then import your preset into another app. You can name it. It saves it in the preset folder. We're going to go over to Premiere. You can then bring in that preset, drop it on your timeline, open up the presets, 
grab the one you're working with and there it is. So everything that you've set up in the previous app saves in that preset and then you can just continue working with what you've set up before. So I love that feature. I love that I can take the presets, save them. I can take the presets, create everything I want to create, but then be able to use it in every other app that I'm working in, be it Final Cut Pro, Premiere Pro, After Effects, or Motion. So that's a great feature. And it's something that you can share. You can actually grab those presets and then send them off to other people to be able to use. So if they have the plugin, they can you can create that for other people to be able to use. So in theory, you should be able to then create those and then possibly sell them if you've done something amazing. So we'll do the same thing in After Effects to show you just the same process. You add mode type two and you can go browse presets. There are the two that we created. It's in and animation comes in. So the fact that you're able to do that is awesome. In After Effects, you have the added bonus because you can actually create a camera and it reacts to the camera. So you have way more versatility. So that's a great feature of this plugin. And regardless of which app you're in, you can choose to do all the coloring in the text editor or you can actually have a color picker and it will adjust everything all at once. I'm gonna go back to, and you can do a hue gradient. And if you wanted to just have a specific animation with the trails, you can just underline the sections that you want. It'll just animate those lines or any words that are not underlined. So it really comes down to you and how you want to set up this animation. Once you've created your animation, you can save this preset and bring it to other apps. And the more you play around with this, the more you're gonna be able to create unique animations like this one that was set up by the MoType 2 team. And the text editor lets you set up your layout and font choices really quickly. And it supports dense paragraphs just as easily as bold or large titles. And it lets you restrict the animations such as trails and particles to only specific portions of the text. You can easily define these portions by applying a familiar text style such as an underline or an outline. So for example, mode type two lets you have particles emitted only by characters with an outline and trails created only by text you have underlined. And mode type two is available on FX Factory and it's created by the same developer that created the Nodes plugin, which is another amazing plugin. But yeah, definitely go check it out. Download the trial, see if it's for you and start playing around with it and start making your text animations come to life. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you check out this video where I talk about even more plugins that are amazing for your workflow. Also, I live stream on my second channel where I deep dive on the creative process as well as freelance financials. So make sure you check that out. As always, thanks for watching.